Hello guys, this is Tendabool, welcome to Rogue Tech. I've updated to wine point wine point two point three and I've swapped the settings a bit because we pretty much want to go back to planet difficulty. Let's see if the in this way we're able to get the missions we want here. We have some seven days of repairs to go through. And without further ado, we're going to do 19 days travel to Orbisonia because it's a rich research planet and we very much want to go there. It's also um, a federated suns planet, which means we're able to also sell a bit of stuff. Everyone's good. All the mechs are without crits, so we keep going. We have some 10 days of trouble to go through. We'll be going through a financial report, but that's not much we can do here. So we're going to throw a garden party. Good for morale, but we're already at 50 morale. Doesn't help much, but still, always good to do the nice events and not have a bad one so there we go we're making the final jump and there we go into Orbisonia and hopefully we find good, th good things there so financial report done yeah we got a bit of mag parts laying around but what can we do we we are hoarders, so we go to the store, hopefully we see something decent. Well, it's still mostly quick sell stuff. Well, a bit more decent stuff, but still not much we can do here. We've got the Leviathan up for sale. Not that we're going to in the short run, but still. Uh, regular ear medium we can sell, regular ear PPC we can sell. The hand light we're probably not using anymore, but we're keeping on it just because a laser magna can go. It's not going to be much this time, but still, it's a bit of money to keep us going, so that much we can do. Uh, we still got the railguns, and I'm just not convinced that the that the Raggauzilla build we have right now is the most reliable. So we might go back and put the actually the big railgun in there, not the small one, but that'll come after another test run. I'm just not sure when the set test run is going to be. We just have one of each core. The 425 we picked because we wanted to see if it was good for the punch, but it's not. So it's just a bit of money we have laying around. And we just still have three XLs and one double XL which we're keeping for the moment standard we're selling and I think that's it the rest we have here is not up for sale for the moment being but we get close to 40 million that's still decent and let's see the missions here well that's complicated because that's on a 400 tons mission isn't it yep that's a 400 ton mission which is which I'm not sure <laughs> we're able to do in our current setup well, I guess we could try, but doesn't look that interesting here. We've got another assassination, and this one doesn't bring. Oh well, the promise will be going against Federated Sons, but still, that's the price to pay. 
so there we go we got everyone ready everyone in their max we just want Castro into the mortar and we're good to go we're going super heavy hunting here which could be a mistake but still with a new update we've just installed we've got super heavy flashpoints so as soon as I see one of them we're probably jumping on the chance to do them they're, I don't know if they're um, balanced around you having a full super heavy lance or just having some super heavies so it could get rough for us but at this point we're just looking for a challenge to make this company go out in a bank so uh, in a flash of glory if you want or in a complete wipe so that's a mission description I haven't seen oh well we'll see what we have when we get to the ground but going back to um, planet side difficulty hopefully brings back um, okay So let's see what we have here. There's someone on the high ground here. And from there on, there's probably... Well, I can't tell, but there's definitely someone on the high ground. So... drop here because it's a decent approach vector to the high ground and we see where everybody is we probably have to fight through everything here okay we're already seeing a tiamat here which is bad i think it's a tiamat so the prototype is back there on the other side supporting forces don't look like they have super heavies and the reinforcements might have a Tiamat going or this is the 100 Fafnir so this could get rough we'll give it a go but we might not be ready for this and this might be the mission in which we lose Bit of max being so clustered means we're probably going to suffer. That's three heavy peeps. You're a bit hot, so we might be able to do something on you. You look like an archangel to me. Still, we're waiting. Let us see what they do. Did you see that line in here? Okay. I wonder what I was. You're so hot. That's a bit of splash. We really are not that much worried about that. But we're just waiting until turn 20 until that monster goes. We're seeing someone up there, it's a dire wolf, so we have to be aware of him, but that's not... Yeah, that's bad. That looked like a railgun to me. Luckily he missed, so there we go. So, ready to go. 
and we really want to start making short work of everything here so the first thing we've seen well you're only here to apply acid I guess okay that was that but at least we get to we never got yeah we did I was going to say we never got incendiary here, but apparently we did. Uh, it just says Fafnir, but still we are so going to get him controlled here. So, are we able to hide somewhere? That looks like our best bet with the avatar. So, the Archangel, we also want to heat up. Because Archangels are nasty, you really don't want to mess with them. So, Supercharger, DNI, and we now have the 30 tons maze in here. So, we all know what this is going to be we're just in range for you and that much we'll be doing inferno because i want some hit on the fafnir no matter what and we even hit the heavy peep which is good here We've got something going on turn 18 okay that's a mobile long term we have to really deal with that thing as well but for the moment there's more important things around so we're going to try an emp yeah that's a decent hinges the archangel because we got no acid here if we had we might go for the long term but the mom for the moment this is just mag pulsing and impairing the Archangel. We got more mortars, which is good news for us. You're so totally getting focused next turn. But... We can do something meanwhile. You're also hot, so I guess we keep on sending Infernos. So I guess the super heavies here are only in the mainlands, which is good. So we go here, we hope we survive one turn. We won't be in range for anything at all this turn, so we're just sending the Artemis stuff. To the slap near. And finally, we got the two headshotters. Well, we still got the conquistador. And this one. Yeah, that's good enough. If you ask me. So. We keep on sending incendiary to the Fafnia. Just because those auto cannons make me uneasy, so there you go, he's unsteady. And now it's all about finding a decent spot for next turn. So, guns off the ground, first directive. Um, as we're not able to go for headshots now. We try to get the sled near off the ground, off the battlefield, if you want. Same here. We got, we're seeing red, so he's probably not long for this world. Still, he survived the shoot, which is not what we wanted to see here.
Just looking for positioning options. We've actually put ourselves in a pickle here. Nothing much we can do, so we just get going. No need for anything else, you're just going off. So, we're in for a bit of damage here. But, we've got options now. So, um, we see what we see. There's a Templar, there's an artillery which we have to deal with, that's a given. Are we seeing, are we seeing the artillery? No, we're not. So, we look for sidelines because we don't want to be shooting at our mechs. You didn't shoot, so you're braced. You did shoot but you're about to heat up. Ideally, I think I want to go for the Archangel. I know he's mostly controlled, but this thing is nasty. So there we go. That's one very good hit to the head. And we just move a bit backwards, staying back from the... we get to see the artillery support, that is a good thing. It's bringing advanced AMS, but we definitely need this thing off. Brings a lot, that's actually one super heavy vehicle. So, let's see if your AMS can deal with this, my friend. And we keep going. We just hide here. Aye, aye. Because we're trying to keep things under control with you. What are you bringing? That's just a ghost. Just. <laughs> Mostly under control. Yeah, that's two railguns. That's... I'm not even bothering with... Going for other stuff. That's a Tiamat, all right, yeah. Doesn't look like he had that much armor to me, but still... He has to be dealt with, so... There we go, we go looking for the Tiamat. And we probably already went by, so that's it. Ready to rock. The Archer has line aside to the artillery. And we keep going on the artillery because we need this thing off the table. We're seeing a bit of red, so he goes off. That's very good news. King Crab needs to cool down. So we're vigilancing even though it leaves us with no option to do things, but we really need to Bit of Inferno, bit of Flare to the Archangel. I will be done. Hephaestus is moving sideways. And yeah, we go for the Tiamat because I'm scared of the two railguns. We got the arm open and we got a knockdown, which is most welcome. So, yeah, that can be bad, but it's, I think, we'd much rather not be 
under the I yeah the Tiamat is the Hephaestus is being destroyed. There's no way around this one here. It was a good mech, served as well, but it served its purpose, so we're not going to cry much. Best thing you can do right now, Arbiter, is just punch out from here, man. So, there's still the Archangel to go. So we push, we give everyone sensors, because we must. And we keep trying to overheat the Archangel. That's good. Yeah, he chose to go for the Hyperion. And he shut down. Next. Should be the Diastar. Diastar. He's going for the Super Heavy. Because we must do something about that beast. So let's see. Yeah. It very much looks like a torso situation to me. We got Railgun Creed. And we still got a Templar to go, and we don't want him to. So, there you go. So, Templar shut down. Actually, maybe even destroyed. Yep. And it just... The super heavy left here uncontrolled. Which means we're so going for crits here. We only got two peaks anyway, so this is about getting him completely destroyed here. He's off. And we still haven't lost a mech, technically. We're just going to now, though. You're good to go. So, we get going. Because there's people around who are going to shoot our fallen mech. If we're able to, we're going to punch out, but they're... In fairness, they're all going to go before we get, so that's it. That's the leg. Oh, actually, that looked like great. So, we might be able to salvage a bit of our mech here. So, you still have to go, so we're sensor locking you. Got the direwolf and the heavy metal to go. Direwolf might be a bit more dangerous, but I'm betting yeah, we're out of range. So we go for the heavy metal. Yeah, all acid. I know. We've just gotten out of acid, but we really need to get things off the board quite fast here. So, there was a spot where you got vision to the heavy metal. So, there we go. This is all focused. Hopefully, we open the torso. We don't. Oh well, what can we do? Um, try and get to the open, well, mostly open side of the heavy metal, and that much we will. I know, I know, the Archangel is about to get up, 
but we had a chance of getting him off here and we still have let's go we're seeing a bit of red but that was the arm um, well at least we got him to the ground I guess And that's not even the prototype we have to be facing. There's two... These two things we faced were just the preamble. So, we're going with range here. Go in the bill. Clear that cockpit, please. Nope. Not such luck. So, we're just moving around here. Well, at least he went for the flyer. We have one more turn until we have to have all of these cleared up. Conquistador wants to move and keep working on the Archangel. We might get a lucky headshot, it's all we need here. But apparently we don't. Still, he's shut down again, so that's something. And the Diastar will just destroy this heavy metal. He's bound to have an XL, doesn't he? Yeah. So, there you go. Get off the field, man. We don't want you here. And we keep going. Next turn, we should be able to get the mace in range. Oh, that's scary. And... We push up. And we go for Inferno up here as well. Yeah, I know, he's not that hot, but I really want to get him to overheat next turn. Kaiju is going for the carrier, that is good news, we'll have to pull him off, but, but this is mostly good stuff. We get to go before they go, I don't care about my fail chance now what I want is the Archangel of the field and this should get him off honestly at this point I don't even care about what he's bringing okay we lost the carrier this is bad because it means we can't overheat reliably the, the super heavy in the back now. Still, it is what it is. So, there we go. We go for torso. Hopefully everything clusters there. It did. That's very good clustering, Giza. And poor King Crab still is not in range to do stuff, but we'll get there eventually. Yeah, I know, we're getting into fire. That's a bit more inferno on the Kaiju, because we need this thing under control. And speaking of control, you also want to shoot the thing. Okay, he should only have one round left. That's if we don't get to completely wreck him. And you're going for the other torso, because quite seriously, we've had enough of this here. So that's a crit, 106 acid stacks, looks decent enough if you ask me. We 
go for a headshot on the Kaishu. Well, we hit mostly torso, but what can we do here? Diasta is also going for headshots. So that's a bit of headshotting you got there, mister. And we keep going. This should help with your initiative next turn. We see that the prototype is guarded by... Well, he's going with a full lens. So we're not that likely to run off this lightly. Still, the kaiju we can deal with. That's him done. And all we have to deal with now all is the super heavy lens that is around. So there we go. We disengage the supercharger. You sadly didn't manage to punch anything at all. You poor thing. Roger. But we keep Standing going. At one point or another we're going to get sensors on them people in the back. We're just disengaging everything that can blow up. What part about it is the Hephaestus, which is the match which fell, is actually um, an Omni, and it very much looked like we just uh, got a crit, an engine crit, not complete destruction. So we're going through fire. We don't care much about fire if we don't have to shoot. What we care about is line sights. So we're trying to stay mostly hidden here. The super heavy hasn't shot yet, nor has his lance. So the chances that this thing is a is an orca are quite slim. If it were an orca, it would have already shot. And we keep moving. We still don't have sensors on those things. So we very much want to get going to the front here. We probably have to wait for the Hyperion at one point or another. But for the moment being, we're just pushing in the general direction. Okay, we're seeing something now. That's a plasma carrier. Alright, we can deal with a plasma carrier. There's a night star. We can deal with a night star. So looks like there's a way down here. So we start getting there slowly. You also won't be in range to do anything. Orders. You, on the other hand, can set a bit of Kraskam back there around the plasma carrier. Talk to me. And I'm guessing it just the goose and the large supra. But doesn't hurt to try and see what we got in range. That's something. So that's a bit of damage. Archer. We can get the large laser in range, I guess. It's not a good shot, but it's a shot nonetheless. And he shouldn't have range on us. Problem is... Okay, you're not in range, so we keep pushing here. And you're definitely not in range, so there we go. The What we thought what was the way down definitely isn't. So we have to push around and get back. Yeah, we could get here, but that's not what we're trying to do. 
but we are finally able to see what we're facing and it's a super heavy vehicle a cool topper which we have no idea honestly what it's about Got my attention. so that being said Mm, we still don't have range on the Super Heavy, apparently, so we keep shooting. No, we don't shoot Fascan. We already have Fascan there, so let's just sensor lock him and send some guided his way. And we're so totally running out of ammo with you, but still, at this point, it's clear we don't have flyers, so with the clan archer we're going to fire OK from a secluded position when we're able to. Yeah, you just get down. We have to eventually get there. Archer. Well, let's see, Hitchensis. It's the same. So. This hopefully gets him off completely. That's a Shrek carrier dealt with. A plasma carrier, even. And the Night Star is offering us his back, which we should honestly. That's a 71, that's an 81. So there we go. You're open, but sadly we're not in range with Diasta. So let's see, yeah that looks like a big artillery to me. Well, we have to get there. No waves and birds. That's a good moment to set a bit more fast on there. Not because we want it on the night star, but because it's going to affect the, the super heavy. So there we go. You should still be out of line of set here. Mm, still not in range. So we're just moving. Bunching up like this, it's dangerous. But still, it's what we can do. So we're doing it. Okay, we hit his back. And we just pull out of range here. You're still not in range. Neither are you. So we keep going. That's a bit of damage. Okay, the Night Star is in range, so we have to be wary about that. Still. What can be done here? Mm, I think. We want to get to this cavy here. Oh, come on. How much more is going to take to be in range with those alarms here? We get going. And we send some flare to the Night Star. It's a bit of damage. So, you have to get up to be in range, and we very much don't want you to, so that will go, hopefully this brings them online, and you, quite honestly, we hide now. There's still something going around at turn 20, it seems. Oh well, we'll be seeing it in a moment. Yeah, Nightstar keeps doing itself. So we 
keep pushing. I should be able to see what you're bringing. Long Toms. Luckily, he's not shooting them, but... You got my attention. So... The main problem we have here... Is... We're on in range with the ghost. Still, that's damage. So... We're doing it. Okay. In range for a bit of Ascom and a bit of Guided. That much we want to do. Um, let's get going here. We have to do it at one point or another. So he might be in range, he isn't. No, come on. Didn't we get? Okay. <clears throat> I'm a bit mad at this moment. Maybe we just... I thought we had LRM range here. So, this should be LRM range. So that's a bit of LK. Not going to help much, but some damage is damage, I guess. Yeah, that's a uh, shot on the archer, but we managed to dodge him. You still don't have range. We're probably getting range from the top of the mountain. Yeah, that's bad. But we're bound to get a bit of damage in, so... Mm -hmm. We can get out of the splash and send a bit of flare to the bottom. It's going to help. Should have better hit senses all around. So that much we want. You're in a good position here, hidden avatar. He's still able to shoot. So we go with Guided, until we deal with the long term, we really shouldn't... Okay, that's definitely range for the Artemis, um, he's only got one AMS, so there we go. Do you somehow... Get a shot, you don't. Because that's the Conquistador. So we might want to do it this way and see if afterwards we're able to do something. That's a lot of armor shaven from you, and next turn you should be in range to do something. Yeah, the archer is in range, I know. So, we keep going with the Hyperion, we even got two things in range now, we hit one, he goes for the Archer now, but we're about to deal with him, so that's good stuff. You are so engaging the Supercharger here. But we want a flare on the gold turp, gold topper, I guess. And you can also start sprinting towards the nightstar, I guess. You're staying here, you're in a good spot. That's good damage. He actually moved, so we'd have to push up to be in ranged. So we're not going there with you. 
what we can do is oh he just moved slightly out of range so we move back in and slowly but surely we're working on you you get your evasion we're still able to shoot everything and I pretty much team winning too and that's the remaining super heavy done so now it's just a night start we have to deal with and we frankly just get in and try a bit of headshotting just to call it a day no headshots sadly there's still something on tom 21 which we are not able to see Oh well, someone will have to go exploring, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just realized that we still have the super heavy on the table. I really thought the ghoul topper was the target. Turns out it isn't. So, where is that thing? Mecha Goijira. Well, we can deal with him. We only need to range on that thing. So, for the moment, there's just sensor locking the night star because it might help. Avatar really wants to. But we don't got range here. So, there you go. Just go with guided here. Might get the night star on the ground. Punch right through his arm. Yes, so the king crab hides and shoots a bit Roger. of stuff to the Nekagoichira. Archer stands and shoot. I don't think the Mecha Goijira has the snap noses in range. So there you go. Conquistador gets going. We'll need to get near this thing. Out of range for its um, emirates, but. Okay, that's the TSMP cannons, or just let's have a look all the time. I think it was two TSMP, two snub noses, so he definitely has a bit more range than anticipated. Still, we can play around line aside here. Roger that. You're just waiting. He doesn't have line of sight to you. And you just get on because we're going to need you at one point or another. So this is all about getting in place and everyone getting in range. Yeah, you don't have range. So he might move up though. So we're waiting here. He's slowly moving up. Going to take a while, but eventually we'll get there. Avatar wants to start moving. You probably only have range on the L case, but that's a danger. Yeah, you only have range on the LRMs. There's nothing more to that. That's a lot of armor we have to grind through. But grind we will. So there you go. 
Um, just realize this thing is namely more or less a kaiju. Still not in range. But now we've presented him with some targets, so potentially he keeps coming closer. He does, but slowly. We're waiting. We're waiting. We go, because we need your... stuff online. We're getting nearer to the point where MRMs will start being an issue, but still not there, so we get going. Only 40 Artemis left, so we swap to some, and later on We'll just have to see what ammo we got left. Not much, to be honest. So, we keep going here. We'll probably have to get to this ridge here to be in range with stuff. Same with you. He keeps moving closer until he gets his MRMs in range and the TSMP cannons he's not really an issue so there you go and when he does we'll have the ways to deal with him so we warlord and we offensive push and now comes the difficult decision but I think we're going for left also here. We're definitely not going through the armor on the head. It's too much to count for. 300 damage. Done. So it just stays slightly out of his range. Oh well, we don't have mortars yet. I just thought we did. Assumed we did. So, the Conquistador still has a bit of ammo, so we're going. Well, like just two rounds. <laughs> it's not much, and if we move like this. Well, still not in range for MRMs. But I'd very much like to keep my distance to this monster. So, a bit of stuff. We got a bit of splash to that torso. So that's something. And yeah, we back off a bit with you as well. We should be good to send 90. So there we go, that's also a bit of splash, very little going to that torso though. Uh, that just the snap noses, as long as he's shooting snap noses to the Conquistador, we're good. So, still not in range, but we're almost there. So, we reserve. Avatar keeps moving, but we're finally in range for the mortars, and with the range with the mortars, it means we can also sense to lock him. Doesn't help though. Still, a bit of inferno is good. He shouldn't have that much of a hit management. So, we push back, and we shoot LK, because that's what we got left. Well, splashed a bit all around, we still have some 200 to go there. And you, my friend, you only bring 10 LRMs to the table. 
but we do what we must do with you. We just presenting a target he can shoot at, and that we're okay with being overheated. Hyperion has mostly everything in range, but we want to get closer because. Not now, but next turn chances are going to be better, so we keep punching, already got what we need here, which is an open torso, and now, oh, still not in range with you, so, yeah, we're waiting for another turn, shoot the Conquistador all you want, man. That's what he's here for. for so, we s just casually step out. Yeah, as I expected, we're not in range here. He's actually trying to protect his damage side. So, we'll have to be a bit wary of that, but still. What we want here Roger is that. just keep overheating him, and that much we can do. Okay, mm, radical hit singing did what had to do here, but still we're able to try and splash on that open side from this perspective. Well, that's. One engine crit, at least. We finally have the Diester on range. The bad news is... We just have to go through his fresh sight. But a bit of headshotting... Not that we want to headshot, but that's what we got left. Um, we keep going for head. Eventually he'll move. We keep splashing, so we're bound to... Okay, now, now he opens himself. So, he's not getting beyond this turn here. So, what have you got in range? Both. This means we have to be wary, because he's most definitely got the range to shoot the MRMs, but... I think we're hitting them out of existence, as it is right now. One of them destroyed. So, let's see what we can do here. Now, we're barely in range here. That's it. That's the good spot. So, just Apollo and Incendiary. Apollo won't give us the splash we need here. So, that's an unending crit. It's not much we got left here, but what we got will be shooting. So, that's 20, some, and 50 MP. So there you go. Not much going to the open side. Another engine creed, but I'm just not trusting those engine creeds. So what have we got here? Well, we got an open torso. And I know we're taking the most valuable part if we create that open torso, but apparently he doesn't bring an XL. Or it's an XL clan. 
that's also an option. So we go for the other torso. We only got two picks here. He only shoots two snub noses because he is rather hot. So that much we got going for us. And we'll just keep shooting. That's a foot destroyed. A crit on the MRM 40. We just move on. Okay, he's having overheat injuries. We might be able to deal with him if we go slowly, but as I said, we only go two picks here, so we just destroy this thing and get out of here. Yeah, I know, it's a waste of good systems, but still. We already lost the Hyperion here, we didn't want to... Did not the Hyperion, the Hypistos. We didn't want to lose another mech because he got to go with the TSMPs and the MRMs. All in all, quite successful. We went against three super heavies and we only lost um, the Hephaestus, which I think is recoverable, so no biggie. Only two picks though, so... We're probably just going... Yeah, that's... Ta -ta -ta -ta. Pa -dum -pum -pum. Would be nice to have this one, but... Let's see... What's to be had here? Got two long tons, regular ones though. Plasma cannons, another railgun would be appreciated. Because that's the long range one. So, let's go for ammo. Because we got three beans, we need another bean at least to make this workable. What I'm thinking though is the Godzilla only has one ballistic in the side, so this might not be the most intelligent. Oh well, we do what we must do. There's railgun ammo to be had, so there you go. These aren't clan railguns, so they are 30 tons variant, but still these things are massive. And you very much want to use them, so there we go. We get one part of the Fafnia, or, and one part, well, one part of the Tiamat, and one part of the Kaiju anyway. A light peep, which we're selling and the railgun, the core 240, a uh, row 4 inferno, which is good, two pins of railgun, which makes this railgun already sustainable, and a bit of a saramamo, which we're selling. So, all in all, very good mission here. We see how many days we have on the Hephaestus to repair it. We're actually going to stop repairs on that thing and just go look at the full extent of the repairs we have to do but all in all a decent mission we were caught in the blast of, of that support lands and the poor Hephaestus just went down but it mostly looked like an engine crit to me so we might be good to recover the thing I could actually have looked at it on the debrief uh, mission, but just didn't think around it. To used to just push through and go to 
the final screen. So there we go. How many days? Well, it's been destroyed. Fair enough. Just five days for the other ones. So it might be time to bring the Black Widow. Well, actually, I guess we're bringing the Vulture out of storage. But that's stuff for another chapter. This one has already been going for an hour. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please consider leaving a rating and a comment for the Algorithm Monster. And if you're not subscribed and you just stumbled upon this and you like what you see, you're very welcome to subscribe. Subscribe even. So on that bombshell, we're leaving. Have a good one. Enjoy. Yeah.